What's going on guys, Orzu here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new team of the season, player SBC card that EA just released and it is going to be Harry Kane to review. 96 overall by the way, 96 with 92 pace, 92 dribbling, 97 shooting, 93 passing with a 92 physicals. He's looking unreal, there's no other way of saying it. He's a 6 foot 2 player with high high work rates, 4 star skill moves. They went ahead and gave him a skill move upgrade. It was 100% needed because if they kept this card at three star skill moves with a five star weak foot, oh yeah, so many people will look at it and just push it completely to a side. But because they gave him a skill move upgrade, now it's going to be way, way more interesting. Now the chem style I've decided to go for is the engine chem style. I want to boost up that dribbling by a bit. And I also want to upgrade his pace as well by a bit. So yeah, the engine chem style I feel like is going to be perfect for this card. He has got 95 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. Really nice pace in that striker position. Shooting stats. I don't know what to say. Generally do not know what to say. Those shooting stats look ridiculous. Keep in mind, he has got a 5-star weak foot as well. And he has got the outside foot shot trait as well. I'm expecting his shooting ability to be top tier. His passing ability as well. Just look at it. With the engine chem style, we have so many 99 stats. There's only one stat that isn't 99, and it's the free kick accuracy. All the other ones, they are 99. It looks outrageous. And his dribbling ability as well with the engine chem style is looking beautiful. 93 agility, 96 balance, 99 reactions, 93 ball control, 99 dribbling with a 99 composure. He has got a unique body type, and he is six foot two. I'm really interested to see how he's going to feel in game. Hopefully, he's going to feel really, really smooth. And the physicals as well, he's got 87 jumping with 97 heading accuracy. That is going to be really nice to work with. He has got 92 stamina, so you know he will be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. And he has got 93 strength with 90 aggression as well. Now, the links. I mean... He's English, okay? So you get a uh, strong link with Jack Grealish. You get a strong link with a player like Phil Foden. There's a lot of good English players in FIFA 22 that you can link up with when it comes down to this Harry Kane card. So yeah, the nationality is amazing. The club, I mean, you can somehow, some way get a link with Tanganga if you maybe move him into like a CDM position just for chemistry. You can uh, get a link with Lucas Moura as well. So yeah, there definitely is some nice Tottenham players. You've got the new team of the season, Son card as well. So yeah, there definitely is some nice team uh, Tottenham players, sorry. But it isn't like a crazy, crazy amount. Now the positions, one position and one position only. It will be that striker position in a full 4-2 formation. So let's get into the games and let's see how good Harry Kane is going to be. He's going to push towards me. He is. We're just going to chip it over. Harry Kane with that strength is just holding off the players. Nice ball roll. Maybe accelerate past him. Nah, we couldn't get that quick acceleration. But he did well to hold off the two players there with his strength. I want Fred to come short there, but I don't think he's going to. There you go. We eventually got it to him, though. Nice turn with Harry Kane, and he ends up missing it. I don't know if that is team of the season, Allison, but it is a very good save. We created that angle really nicely with him with just a simple fake shot. And it was an all right shot. It wasn't anything top tier. Can I turn him? That's a good scoop turn. I'm going to go for a cross. Harry Kane against Varane. He beats Varane? Nah. No way he beats Varane there. Like, yeah, he is a six foot two player. And yeah, he has got a good jumping ability. But that's Varane we're talking about. I was not expecting him to win that header. Can we win this one? Nah, Mbappe wins that one. He's been cancelled that. That's a good turn from Fred. Harry Kane giving me the option. Good fake shot. Not the cleanest of turns. Like you can clearly see that touch was a little bit heavy. But we create the, the angle nicely. And yeah, Harry Kane, he ain't going to miss that. We all know. Can I get a driven pass into him? I can. That's a good turn as well. Nice shielding ability. He's left stick dribbling. Definitely feels good. But I, would, I can say right now, it doesn't feel like amazing. He's not the quickest at going for like the 180 turns. That's something I definitely uh, am noticing. First time fake shot that. That's a decent touch into the space as well. Good use of pace. We'll roll that. See what I can possibly do. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice skill. We just to create the, create the angle quickly. He wasn't defending how I thought he was going to gonna be defending with Varande. He kind of just let go of Varande. Wilfred come short there, extra pass into Harry Kane, and I'm just going to hit it first time. And look at the keeper. I'm pretty sure 
he was moving the keeper and that's why it, he did that animation. I might cut in early against Cancelo. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get past him. That's a good pass into Wilfred. Nice pass into Harry Kane. Good 180 turn. Good, look at the pace. Go on, keep it going. Keep it going. There you go. Nice ball roll. Elastico. And not Elastico, sorry. Uh, Lacroqueta. I knew he was going to bring out the keeper there. So it was always going to be tough to do the Lacroqueta and then go for like maybe a shot cancel around him. That's a good run in behind. Go on. Keep it going, Cahill. Manual switch over to Kane. Nice pass. Decent fake shot. Good turn. We don't time it correctly and check ends up saving it. That's a shot straight down the middle though, right? Like you're kind of expecting it to go a bit more into the corner. Even though I didn't time it correctly, I still expected a better shot than that. Keep it going, ZH. Get in front of Cancelo there. Give it over to Kane. Keep it simple. I don't want to overdo it. Look at the shielding ability on Varane. Now I can go for the turn. No, we couldn't get that turn fast enough. His strength there is really solid. It's just that turn against Varane. Yeah, it's not the it's not the cleanest, let's say. Let's go for a dummy there, then go back up. Kane is giving me an option. Good shielding. I found an angle and that is an amazing shot. I was focusing for a second just to see if I can maybe find us a, a little space and we found it and it's a beautiful finish. I want Zaha to come short there. There you go. Give it into Kane. I like how he didn't make that run in behind. We go towards that near post and he ends up saving it. Really good shielding ability again. That's something I'm doing over and over and over again. Just shielding off around there on the edge of the box. Through the middle. That's a good pass. Good turn. Go on. Green timed. He ain't saving it. He is not saving it. Once again, hit him on the edge of the box. He's always there. He's always there waiting for the ball. I'm going to throw that into Fernandinho's space. That's a good pass over to Kane as well. Nice Berber spin. I'm trying to get like a, an angle to go for that finesse shot. And it goes straight down the middle towards Czech. Disappointing. I thought he was going to go more into the corner. Is Kane going to make a run there? He is going to make a run. That's great movement. Good touch as well. Keep it calm. Oh my God. No. No, 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 no. We did the goalkeeper dirty. And you're telling me Harry Kane doesn't even get the goal. He better get an assist though. He better get an assist. I'm just going to go for a ball roll. Give it back to Kane. Accelerate into the space. I tried to ball roll around Maldini. Didn't really end up working. But can we get this ball? No way he gets away with this. There you go. Kane. Him with a roulette. Beautiful. Good acceleration. But Varane is going to be there. His skill moves, by the way, come off really, really nicely. Like the burr has been the roulette. They're coming off super fast. That's a good run through the middle there. Go on, Kane. Good use of strength to get in front of Varane there. Nice turn. Go on, keep it going. Shield him off. No, that's when I that's when I need something like five star skill move so I can hit him with like a reverse elastico or a normal elastico. Either one there would have been beautiful. That's a good run by Kane. I'm gonna hit this first time. Why not? We might as well go ahead and do it. It's on his five star weak foot, and it is a very very good finish. I'm really surprised he made that run. I was not expecting it. There's not really anyone to pass to down there, but Harry Kane is just chilling. Giving me that passing option. Look at his left stick dribbling. You see what I mean? Like, his left stick dribbling definitely is good for a six foot two player. It's just you notice certain turns, they aren't like amazing. And that's when a defender goes in and gets the ball. Can I get around Trent here? I don't think I'm going to be able to. So I'm going to go for the cutback. I see Henry giving me that option. Kane as well. Coming short there. Nice roulette. Berber spin. That's beautiful. No, come on. Come on. That deserves a goal. Does it not? Look how well we do to create the angle there. The Berber spin coming off so nicely. The roulette coming off so nicely. And we missed that opportunity. I'm just going to go for me. Giddy's been cancelled. Harry Kane giving me the passing option. He is all over the pitch, by the way. Like, he comes short into like a sentiment position sometimes, giving me a passing option. He sits on the edge of the box, giving me a passing option. He comes from the left striker position all the way over to the right striker position. He's literally everywhere. Trying to find a pass into the inside here. There you go. ZH giving me an option. Kane, well played to get in front. Good scoop turn through the middle as well. And he does so well to bring out Allison there. I'm pretty sure that's the team of the season card. This Allison card, he is saving so much against me. Like, it is ridiculous how much he is saving. Can we maybe get a goal here? Oh, that's decent. No, I was expecting a bicycle kick, by the way. Give it into Harry Kane there. That's a nice little dummy. Go for a ball roll. I see the player all the way at the top. And look at that for a pass. Those kind of passes is what I'm expecting from him because his passing stats are ridiculous for a striker. 
I see a run getting made all the way to the other side. And that, once again, is a perfect pass. His passing ability is so nice, especially when he comes short like that. Like, you can just give him the ball and just smack it all the way to the other side, knowing that it's going to be a perfect pass. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing three games of Harry Kane, and we scored six goals in those three games. It should have been so much more. So much more. There was that one opportunity where we rouletted the keeper perfectly. Open goal. Just tap it in. It goes to Zaha. He gets the goal. Not even an assist. How? I will never understand. And then there was other opportunities where Allison, oh my, what am I seeing? Allison, you need to relax because the saves I was seeing today was disgusting. Like, honestly, we could have scored so much more if it wasn't for Allison. There definitely was some chances, though, that wasn't really placed into the corner. It was going into the middle. So, yeah, he definitely could have done better in some chances, but I definitely do feel like we got very unlucky not to get more goals in the amount of games we played. Well, you guys can clearly still see, his shooting ability is still very good. Like, that five-star weak foot is always going to be nice to work with in that striker position because you know you can turn either side, and, yeah, it's going to be a good shot no matter what. The pace. The pace was solid when I sent him on a run. When I was going for that 180 turn to accelerate into the space that I saw, that's something that wasn't anything top tier, top tier on him. It was good, but it wasn't anything crazy, I would say. But yeah, the pace for a striker, I would definitely still say it's solid. The passing ability, incredible. Straight up incredible. One of the best pa passing abilities I have seen in this game. Like, it is beautiful. The dribbling ability, I mean, the left stick dribbling for a six foot two player isn't bad. It really isn't. You definitely do notice some touches because he's six foot two, it isn't like great, okay? But in most cases, he does keep that ball very close to his feet and he does turn really quickly. So yeah, the dribbling ability, I felt like was very solid and the physicals loved it. The physicals was incredible. It's something I was really enjoying about this card because he acts like a target man a lot of the times. He just sits in front of that defensive line waiting for the ball to get driven straight into him so he can take a good touch and hold off the player. And obviously, he needs that 93 strength to be able to do that. So yeah, the physicals loved it. Now, the price of this card is 600k. Well, okay. 600k is a lot of coins do i believe it is worth it i don't the reason i say this is because when a player like team of the season jota is going for 300k on the market i don't feel the need to go ahead and spend that much on an un not really i mean yeah it is an untradeable card but you get what i mean an sbc card let's say so yeah, 600k, I feel like definitely is over the top. For me personally, i rather just spend the 300k for Jota, knowing that I can go ahead and sell him in the future. So yeah, 100%, I do believe this card is overpriced and I do not believe he is worth it. Now, where does he go in the attacker's tier list? We have to compare him to other players that have got five-star weak foot and four-star skill moves, okay? So one player, Suarez, team of the season Suarez. That team of season Suarez card, yeah, that card is disgusting. Straight up disgusting. Do I believe Team of the Season Suarez is better than Team of the Season Harry Kane? I do. I definitely do. Other five-star weak foot slash four-star skill with players is uh, Keane, foot hero Captain Keane. Keane's dribbling ability is better than Harry Kane, so I'm taking Keane over him. And players like Ben Yedda, I think we can't really compare him to Ben Yedda, but if I had to choose between the two, I probably would go Ben Yedda because of that dribbling ability once again. If it's my playstyle, a little bit better. So I do not believe this Harry Kane card deserves to go into the S tier. I definitely do believe this card is a comfortable a plus tier player i'm really happy they gave him the four star skill moves because the berber spin comes off so so nicely with him it's just he's dribbling ability as i said to you guys it's good but you definitely do notice that six foot two height sometimes and you definitely do notice some weird weird turns so yeah a plus for team of the season harry kane i hope you guys did enjoy the video though if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace